many of you guys have seen this clip but we are here to analyze something and as usual we give you guys nothing but bangers and if you're new to the channel make sure you click the like button to this video and subscribe and before we proceed let's take a look at this clip right here of I am Mike Tyson before we give our take they don't go you know what bro like i'm really really impressed by i am my taxon um at the age of 53 bro this guy still got it that ferociousness is still with him you know recently was spotted on a pad work and yeah you're looking at the double left hook to the body and then the right and the way the in the, the form he threw the punches it reminded me of the young I am Mike Tyson believe me right now I believe Mike Tyson beats many of the everywhere's right now but of course we're gonna talk about the ones at the top the top three Joshua Fury and Deontay Water was your take on my Tyson ferociousness at the age of 53 bro when I when I first saw Mike Tyson um, when I first saw that clip I was very impressed you know I was impressed with his uh, with his reflexes most of all because uh, once you retire for a boxing, you're gonna be rusty. Um, you're gonna be out of shape. You're gonna be uh, your reflexes. Uh, if you don't pack, if you don't practice on a pad, your reflexes, you know, they're eventually gonna go. Um, I was impressed with Mike Tyson because his reflexes are still there. You know, he looked amazing on the pad work. Uh, Mike Tyson was a phenomenal heavyweight. You know, he was great. He knew what he was doing. Uh, when when he when he was when he was, uh, when, he was when he was a boxer, you know, there was uh, there were there were many things. A big factor, his team that did not really handle uh, managing him right. You know, in his career, when Cusy Amato was alive, Cus was the one who brought out the. The killer instinct and Mike trained him, you know, molded him because Mike Tyson was a troubled kid when he was younger, he was shy, he was bullied, so many things, you know. But I've always believed Mike was built to be a boxer, just the way just the way he was, just the way he looked. At age fifteen, he looked like a grown man. And he he he, he didn't even have he didn't even get to, to a stage in, life, in his life in boxing or when he was starting out in boxing to really develop or grow into a body at age 15. He looked like a grown man. He had the body of a grown man. And that was just at age 15, 16, you know. But once Cus, once Cus shaped him, Cus was able to develop those skills, show him how to fight different angles pivot if you ever seen those uh, uh uh old boxing clips of mike tyson shadow boxing that's that's that's, that's art man you gotta love that you know the way he was moving angles pivoting usually utilizing, utilizing his legs from throwing a punch from his legs up up until it reaches his uh, uh uh fist able to use that to knock out his opponents mike was a dangerous fighter you know when he knocked you out, he knocked you out. But unfortunately, his team around him, when Cus passed away, Mike Tyson was never the same. That promoter that ran him, stole money from him. Uh, uh, the people around him stole money from him. Eventually, Mike collapsed under the weight of all that. You know? Uh, people use them. Uh, people use them for commercials, for for, for clout. 
so many things. things. You know, Mike was not able to handle all of that. Don't forget, Mike was a boxer, trained at a young age. Cus was the one managing him, showing him, you know, how to be a man, all, all sort of things. But once that passed, once that, once that, once that, once that, once that, uh, once Cus passed away, it, it was, it, it went downhill from it. He was accused of rape by, uh, by a, by a, by a female. Um, well, uh, he went to jail. When he came back from jail, he, was, he just was not the same. You know, Mike Tyson was not the same. He, he he lost he lost fights where he was supposed to win. You know, he even said it himself. I I only trained three days, and after a while, some of the things Mike Tyson uh, was saying was saying did not even make sense. You know, you could tell because he was slipping. And then what did his team do? They used him even more. And eventually, Mike Tyson burnt out. And after that, uh, Mike Tyson had to know like I had to retire. You know. He had six losses on his record, and some of those losses, I, I gotta be honest with you, he wasn't even supposed to lose some of those losses, you know. He fought Lennox Lewis right at, you know, just at the at the point of his career where he was slipping, you know, he wasn't the same after the cut died. If Lennox Lewis would have fought Mike Tyson when he was young, and they would have met. Mike Tyson would have destroyed Lennox, absolutely obliterated Lennox Lewis, obliterated him, you know. Uh, Kevin McBride, those guys that he, he lost to, that he wasn't supposed to lose to, he would have he he uh, he 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 won, you know. He had some no contest on his record. Let's be honest, he wasn't supposed to have any contest on his record. Like I said, it was just the poor mismanagement of Mike Tyson. The, the famous Buster Douglas fight. Man, everybody remembers that fight, right? Everybody didn't think Buster Douglas was really going to take it to Mike Tyson or he was going to beat Mike Tyson. But he knocked out Mike Tyson. That was that. And that was, that was, that was, that was a uh, pivotal point of Mike Tyson's career. I mean, it just went down, downhill from there. Mike Tyson was never the same. Never the same. I, when, when I, I saw, saw that, that video of Mike Tyson fight uh, doing the pad work, I was very impressed, you know. The only thing I wor I'm worried about is how he handles taking a punch back. Any anybody looks good on a, on a, on the pads. It's just what can you how can you do what can you do when they punch you back? Don't forget AJ is a very powerful puncher in both hands and Deontay Wilder is um is a very skilled he's a very good puncher himself. Just not skill, you know. If Mike Tyson, if Mike Tyson can hold his own and really put the pressure on my, uh, Deontay Wilder, he can absolutely take out Deontay Wilder. If he can't do it, Deontay Wilder is gonna catch him, you know. And that's where I'm gonna end it, man. So, I mean, you're picking Deontay Wilder to beat uh, Tys uh, Mike Tyson. Do you? Yes, it's only because if Mike Tyson cannot keep up the same pace, but if he could keep, if he could keep up that same pace for not even maybe for two minutes, good two minutes, non stop. Like when I say non stop, non stop. And he can really move at those angles, he could beat Deontay Wilder. You know, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Deontay Wilder could beat Mike Tyson by the way he looks, but you never know. You know, so I really have to go with the side of the youth. You know, let's just hope uh, Deontay Wilder is not is not that person everybody's been saying that he cannot box. Let's just hope he can do it and not get embarrassed by a 50 year old man. You know, uh, the, the oldest man to ever win uh, the heavyweight boxing, if anybody remembers, was uh, was George Foreman. George Foreman won that belt at age 48. He, nobody thought he was able to do it, but he came back and beat some very good top prospects in the heavyweight division at his age. You know, um, he, he, he only lost to, you know, uh, veterans of the sport, you know, Evander Holyfield. 
Tommy, Tommy the Duke Morrison. You know, those guys were young and hungry. But eventually, uh, uh, um, George Foreman was able to take out that current heavyweight, and he won, you know? So, if, if George Foreman could do it at age 48, who said Mike Tyson can do it at age 53? Let's see what happens. I mean, break down the, the fights, though. Mike Tyson versus Joshua. Mike Tyson versus Dante Water. Mike Tyson versus Tyson Fury. Mike Tyson with the uh, Anthony Joshua. Uh, if, if Mike Tyson tried to utilize that same uh, same skills that he had against Anthony Joshua, it's not going to work because all AJ has to do is move around the ring, utilize his jab, Let's not forget AJ has, has power in both hands, okay? Um, Mike Tyson, he won't be able to really do that, you know, able to use those angles and pivot for long because it really takes a lot. The power comes from the, from the, from the legs all the way from the, uh, to your tippy toes, to your hips, to your shoulders, to your arms. And at age 53, that's going to be a lot to do. You know, he can maybe do it once or twice, but eventually the knees will give out because that's hard to do. And if AJ continues to move around, AJ knows how to fight on the back foot. AJ really knows how to utilize and move around the ring. Mike Tyson is 6'1". Eventually, AJ will probably land and catch up, catch Mike Tyson. You don't know at age 53, Mike Tyson can really take a punch. He's been out the ring for a long time. I don't really see him doing much against AJ. AJ will probably knock him out early, early, early on. You know, you know. But don't take my word for it because you know, you never know what will happen in the heavyweight history. Uh, Bob, it only takes one punch in the heavyweight division against Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a is six nine, almost seven foot. Tyson Fury is a very skillful boxer. Um, all he has to do, like I said, use that range of his. He's an awkward fighter. Use it. Continue moving. Hold Mike Tyson just about, just when he's about to get in close. Hold him, grab him. You know, it's, it's, he's going to continue using that. Tyson, uh, Tyson, uh, Tyson Fury, all he has to do is just put his weight on him. And that's that. That's going to eventually uh, tire out uh, the three old Mike Tyson. And that's gonna that's gonna put him out. With Deontay Wilder, this fight can go either way. Deontay Wilder can either get taken out if Mike Tyson puts in that pressure. Deontay Wilder doesn't have the skills to really hold Mike Tyson back, even when he fights on the back foot. Deontay Wilder's jab is is subpar at best, you know, and his power doesn't really carry on to the middle round. So this fight can go either way. If Mike Tyson can really hold his own for two minutes, yes, he can take out Deontay Wilder. If he really calculates what he does in that ring with Deontay Wilder, he can really take him out. If he, if he can't do it, Deontay Wilder will take him out with that one punch, with that, with that nuclear one punch hand, you know, that uh, everybody says yes. That's what I believe is going to happen. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. And for those of you guys who are watching right now, make sure you like the video, share, subscribe as usual. We give you guys nothing but bangers. But before we go, we of course have to invite our brother Olajide to give his take on this particular subject. Olajide? Yeah. Yeah, what's, what's your take on, um, on, um, on this subject, bro? Well, I'm um, turning back, right? Yeah, bro. Well, you see, on a normal round, I would say, just like George Hong said, like, he doesn't really need to, you know, to avoid, you know, unnecessary um, predicaments happening to him, to be honest, right? But, Again, with some things Iron Mark has been showing since it's gone back into the picture of boxing again. 
and that's going to be sometimes as last year or two years ago. It'll be showing it's still there and not to talk of the, you know, video made of Iron Mike training, you know, with the pad and stuff like that. We should it's still go. You still got the hands are still as fast as it's as it is used to be, as it is, and you know, with the way it goes and that it's still got that fast and everything. So it's coming back though I know he said something is coming back for those maybe three to five round sessions and stuff like that. But the truth is, is he necessary? Well Kaiser himself knows how it feels. It's well common anyway, it is. I mean obviously there are other older ones like your four E's that are gonna come back as well. And it just is what it is. If you feel if it feels from his body I'm still good enough to do this. And it's welcome any time. And you know, from what he showed in him working on the pads yesterday, I think the man is still fully there. The only thing just needs to do is, I like the way he said he's not coming back for a long kind of like round of that, three to five of that. Which kind of makes sense. sense. So it's not something, he's not coming in the way of his coming to look for ways of damage, so he's coming in the way of him putting some of the questions. So I think he's in sort of a look at the measure, thinking of three to five rounds session when he, if he chooses to come back, which is fine for him. At his stage, obviously, you don't say him saying he's going all the way 10, 12 rounds or that. No, but three rounds, just like premature back in them, premature time, that's fine then. For me, it's fine, Interesting, brother. So, on this current uh, state um, of Mike Tyson, I mean, you've seen it. Mm-hmm. Who do you, what do you? How do you think he will fare against um, the top three? <sighs> to be honest, um, against the top three. Ah. Okay. The only thing I can say, I can talk of two for now. And I'm going to talk of with Tyson Fury and with AJ. It's going to be a difficult task because those two know how to fight on distance. They know how they can avoid you from coming inside. They know how they can keep your baby, they know they're not going to come in. So on that one, it's going to be a bit of you know, wherever it is. But the truth is, for the free, Deontay, AJ, Fury, if Tyson is able to come inside, don't let me ask you if you're going to in trouble. That one is guaranteed. None of the free is able to come in. You know, the reason why I couldn't, I can't really talk about Deontay right now is Deontay do not know how to fight if you obey from distance. The only thing is when he's about to shoot is when he move and keep the distance and then shoot his right hand. But someone like Tyson, before the other call is on to shoot, Tyson is already in. But the truth is, if he's able to get in the inside of any of the top three, they are in trouble. So the only way I can say any of them try to do anything to even have is fighting at distance, don't even give him that room. Space a chance to come inside at all, but the truth is, Tyson will manoeuvre his way to get in, but it's the thing where you need to keep yourself at the back. And that's why I say with Fury, with AJ, there's a huge chance that you can genuinely keep him at bay and not let him come too much. But with Deontay, let's see in kind of Deontay, the Deontay of not so far would not do that. Because there's no one Deontay fight, like five from to two or three rounds that does not get inside Deontay. So that's the truth of what it is. For the three of them, it's a 50-50. Because if you're able to keep him at bay, then fine. But if you're able to come in, trust me, he will damage you. And that's it. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. And for those of you guys are watching right now, as usual, make sure you like the video, share, subscribe. Stay blessed, guys.